What's up YouTube? Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness. My name is Keegan and today we are doing another supplement review. We're doing Rivalis's Vanilla Overload Casein. Uh, now for those of you who don't know, casein is a type of protein that's very slow digesting and so a lot of people like to use casein specifically for either if they're going to have longer bouts between meals and they want to maintain uh, you know, uh, some semblance of, of anabolism in that sort of interim period or if it is that they happen to be going to bed maybe like at night you know last thing you go to do before you go to bed have yourself a protein shake casein will be good for that because it'll allow your body to break down something slowly over the course of the night allowing your body to stay fed and keep tissues being built muscle being built and it, the argument is keep the anabolic window open and active as much as humanly possible now anabolism is a, a more complicated process than that uh, it's, it's a much more um, uh, pendulous concept you know, a lot of ebb and flow and sort of movement undulation uh, between anabolism and catabolism that you want to have a net uh, anabolic state over the course of the day uh, but generally speaking I mean the idea of trying to provide your body uh, sufficient nutrients over the long haul of your day definitely a you know, a good idea. Uh, that being said, today we're going to be testing out Rivalis's casein. Um, now, I have not actually tried their casein before, so this is going to be a bit of an interesting experience for me. Uh, we're going to do this just like we always do. One cup of water. We're going to have one serving of the protein already measured out, ready here. We're going to shake it for 20 seconds. Then we're going to evaluate it based on our criteria of taste, texture, mixability, and macros. Uh, so, um, the only thing I really need to do now is grab myself a lactose pill and then we can get this started. Because, uh, as you could probably imagine, casein, definitely one of those areas where a lactose reversion is not something I think I've ever seen in the industry. So, you know, huge frowny face for that one, but, you know, we do what we can. Uh, so, let me go grab a lactose pill and then we'll get this started. So, uh, like I mentioned, now that we've got the lactose pill, I'm just going to go ahead, throw this into the shaker cup, shake it up, give it 20 seconds, and then we'll go ahead and we'll start the evaluation process. A few moments later. 20 seconds. All right. And before we get started with the video, go ahead and head below the video and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell, of course, so you can be notified of all of our future content. And of course, you get to be a uh, part of the galaxy here. And, you know, if you throw a comment down below the video, you get the chance to interact with me and kind of influence the content that gets put up onto the channel. So I think it's a pretty fair deal. Let's go ahead. You hit the button. I go ahead. Do my damn job. Pretty fair trade, right? All right. So, uh, with that said, without further ado, let's get into this, shall we? Lately, while I've been doing these videos, especially during this filming process, I always have this weird, uncanny feeling like I'm forgetting something. But I never quite know what it is. You know what? Screw it. Editor Keegan, if you want to throw a comment somewhere and let me know if I missed anything. All right. Let's jump into it. Down hatch. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Okay. All right. Okay, we'll start off with taste. Work our way down the list. We're gonna hit this hard and fast and then go about our business here. So first and foremost, taste. The taste, the vanilla flavor isn't necessarily bad. I just feel like it's it's sort of muddied and clouded. It's very watery. It's possible that they expected this to be mixed with a lot less water, but if they were, oh my God, was texture gonna suffer way worse than this? And, and that's saying something because I'm already not feeling that, but you know, I'm getting ahead of myself. Front end feels empty. Mid flavor seems like dull, kind of empty too. Back end is empty too. Yeah, I'm just not a fan. Yeah, two. Two, you know what? Actually, 1.5. I'm really not feeling this flavor. The more I taste it, the more I hate it. Um, yeah, which is disappointing. So, yeah, we're going 1.5 here, people. Oof, off to a rough start, Rivalis. Texture. Oh my god. This is so bad. Like, I thought vegan proteins were bad because, I mean, with the, the yellow pea and brown rice proteins, they don't tend to really mix very well into water. And, and so there's that sort of grittiness you get from it. But this, this is bad. This is, it's somehow liquidy and gritty and thick. So it was like thin, thick, and gritty all at the same time. It's like the worst combinations of flavors and textures and feelings in my mouth. I don't want this feeling in my mouth when I'm trying to drink protein. 
How is that possible? How is this possible? Holy hell. Yeah, no, this is trash texture. I am really not feeling this. When you finish swallowing it, it feels like you have, it feels like it's still lingering inside of you, like your cheeks, between like your cheeks and your gum. It just sort of like hides in every crevice. Like the liquidiness I was telling you about kind of carries all of that grittiness that I was also mentioning into those pockets and then all of it just sort of sits there while the liquidness flows out that all you're left with is that grittiness that thick grittiness you know in those pockets in your mouth oh man no bueno that's that's bad that's yuck that is just yuck no 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 not feeling this okay texture <sighs> This texture is just as bad as the flavor. The two of those ride hand in hand straight to hell in a, in a hand basket. This is bad. I'm calling this a 1.5 on texture too. This is really bad. I was not expecting it to be this bad. Mixability, um, I mean, I guess it mixed all right, but like when you look at the inside of the cup, like it doesn't really tell that story. When you look at the inside of the cup, it, it looks all caked on the inside. It looks like it looks like it didn't mix properly. And not only does it look like it didn't mix properly, when you taste it, that like I was mentioning, it's thick, it's thin, it's gritty. Somehow all at the same time, it feels like none of this married together in those 20 seconds while I spent shaking it. In contrast to like the precision uh, of the extreme 97 extreme isolate 97 that i reviewed a couple weeks back that one mixes seamlessly it seems like you didn't have a powder and a liquid it was always just a liquid this it seems not only like is it was it a powder and a liquid but like it's still somehow trying to also be a powder and a liquid at the same time and then also that the powder wasn't just one powder, it was two powders. I just, it's the most mind boggling thing I've ever tasted. And I hate it. I, I hate it. I deeply loathe what this is. I don't ever want to drink this again. Okay, mix, mixability though. Let's, let's, let's finally give this a score. Mixability, I'm giving it a, we'll give it a two. It's getting a two, all right? Two out of five. Next is to look at the macros for this thing. And I, for one serving, we're looking at 110 calories, uh, half a gram of fat. We're looking at 25 milligrams of cholesterol, 250 milligrams of sodium, two grams of carbohydrates. So that's one gram of dietary fiber. So uh, I will definitely say that that's, you know, is better. It's better than what it could be. Uh, and 24 grams of protein. Now, honestly, if we're talking about what your body would need over the course of like a night, like an eight hour, say an average eight hour sleep, um, 24 grams, eh, I mean, it's all right. It could be better, but like, it, I guess it could be worse as well. Um, but 24 grams, not bad. I mean, I, I'd say this is, this is low end of average. So, you know, 2.7. I'm gonna give this a 2.7 out of five for macros. I mean, I appreciate the low, the low end of fat, and I appreciate, you know, the low carbohydrate as well. Um, but the protein count is kind of low. It's a 32 gram scoop. So, I mean, the rest of this is going where? We'll call it 2.7. I mean, I really wanted to give you a 2.5, but like this is pointing like, eh, maybe give them higher marks. So, you know what? I'll call it 2.7 and just like that. That'll be it. Split the difference between what. It, this might suggest to some degree and also what i'm you know feeling at heart here because i know i should probably dampen what i'm feeling because a lot of it is just raw hatred for something that tastes so blech. even whey proteins can be failures this is proof of that yeah. well the total is in and it is not good people this is coming in at a 7.7 .7 out of 20 Woof, bad, which is going to put it at a 38%. Ew, ew, uh, what a bad rating. And honestly, every time I take a sip from it, I am, I am affirmed. I, I feel validated for my choice because initially you look at that, and you go, wow, that's harsh. And then you do this. Nah, deserving, deserving every day of the week. Woof. All right, well, you know what? I think it's time we just wrap up this video and call this quits because I am done with this protein. This is disgusting. Uh, I hope you found this informative, entertaining, educational. I hope you enjoyed this in some way, shape, or form. I hope you liked watching my suffering as I drank this protein. I do it for you, all right? It's a lot of love. 
love for all y'all out there in the galaxy. And if you want to join the galaxy, go ahead and hit the subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified of all of our future videos. Of course, I got a lot of supplement reviews coming, but if you have any things that you'd really like to see me do, throw it in the comment section below and I'll add it to my list and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. And of course, stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace.